ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಇಂದು ನಾನು ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗಾಗಿ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ನ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇನೆ ಇನ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ರೇಟ್ ಲಾ ರೇಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅರಿನಿಯಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಥರ್ಮೋಡೈನಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ವೆದರ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪಾಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ರೇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ and if a reaction is slow or fast what are the factors which affect the rate of a reaction coming to the rate law it's a mathematical expression which relates the rate of a reaction to the concentrations of the reactants the factors which affect rate of a reaction are pressure temperature concentration and the rate law relates the rate of a reaction to the concentrations of the reactants at a given temperature now coming to rate of a reaction there are two rates here one is instantaneous rate and another is average rate when a reaction takes place the concentration of reactants goes on decreasing therefore at every instant the rate keeps changing since the rate keeps changing at every instant whenever we measure the rate at a particular instant of time we call it as instantaneous rate of a reaction since the rate depends on the concentration how does it depend on the concentration how does it vary from a reaction to reaction that mathematical expression is given by the rate law now coming to the rate constant later on when i take up the questions i will be writing the expressions when you relate the rate of the reaction to the concentrations of the reactants you get a constant which is called as the rate constant in my next part depending on the question i will be discussing the features of the rate constant of a reaction now coming to order of a reaction in a reaction you may have two or more reactant molecules but it so happens that in some reactions the rate will depend on the concentrations of all the reactants whereas in some it may depend only on a few now the order of a reaction will tell us as to whether the rate depends on the concentrations of all of the reactants or only a few and to what power in other words when concentration changes rate changes how does it change that will is indicated by order of a reaction if the order of a reaction is 1 we call it as a first order reaction example of first order reaction is decomposition of h2o2 here you will find that in the rate expression the concentration of reactant will be raised to power 1 in the second order reaction the concentration of the reactants is raised to power 2 or when you have two reactants each of them will be raised to power 1 then coming to second order reaction example is saponification saponification is reaction of esters with a base for example ethyl acetate reacts with naoh to give sodium acetate and ethanol it is a second order reaction and it's coming to expressions for rate constant the rate constant expression depends on the order of a reaction when the order changes the expression also changes when i give the examples or when i take the numerical examples i will be writing the different expressions for the rate constant coming to next half life period one has to note here that 
irrespective of whether a reaction is slow or fast, it takes infinite time for a reaction to be completed. Therefore, when we have to compare the rates of different reactions, if we take the time taken for 100% completion as a criterion, you will find that in all cases it is infinite and therefore you will not be able to arrive at a conclusion whether the reaction is slow or fast. Hence, we have to go for the some other time period and we have chosen half-life period. And half-life period is defined as the time taken for 50% of the reaction to be completed. Coming to activation energy, when the reaction takes place, the reactants as per collision theory have to collide in order to form the products. But it is not that the reactant molecules immediately after collision will form the products. It is also not that all the collisions between all the reactant molecules will form the products. There is yet another condition to be satisfied in order that the reactants change into products. And that condition gives us the concept of activation energy. If the reactants are to form the products, they have to collide effectively. And what we mean by effective collision is, when they collide effectively, they have to cross a barrier. That barrier is called the activation energy barrier. And only those molecules which are capable of colliding to, form, to cross the activation energy barrier will form the products. And the other reactant molecules will remain as reactants even after collision. Now coming to Arrhenius equation. We know the rate of a reaction depends on the rate constant values. Lower the rate constant value, slower the is the reaction. Higher the rate constant value, faster is the reaction under given conditions of temperature and concentration. There has to be a relation between the rate constant, energy of activation and this relation is given by Arrhenius equation. Now coming to effect of temperature and catalyst. We know the rate of a reaction depends on concentration, pressure nature of the reactants, temperature and catalyst. How does temperature affect the rate of a reaction? It is found that when temperature is increased, the rate of the reaction increases in general. And this is because when the temperature is increased, the energy of all the molecules increase and when the energy of all the molecules increase, quite a few of the reactant molecules will have enough energy to cross the activation energy barrier to form the products. In other words, when temperature increases, the number of effective collisions increase and hence the rate of the reaction increases. Now coming to the effect of catalyst, positive catalyst is one which increases the rate of a reaction. Now the role of a catalyst in relation to activation energy is, when a catalyst is used in a reaction, the catalyst surface provides an alternate path for the reaction and when the reaction takes place on the surface of the catalyst, 
In the alternate path, the activation energy is lowered and therefore the rate of the reaction gets lowered. Dear students, Priya Vidyarthi Gale, Idishtunno Niyo Channagi Artha Maadi Kondo Odi Dara, Anantara Idhar Mele Baruva Prashnya Gala Nella Niyo Uttaris Baudu. After this, I am going to take up questions and when I take up questions, it will be related to the different concepts that I have mentioned here and the expressions will be written so that there is a link between your understanding of the concepts and the numerical problems and thereby you will be able to answer all the questions.